to um, handle a post request using the HTTP module. If you haven't seen that video already, there's a link just here for it. Um, now that was all about how to handle the post requests on a server side. Now we're going to use the HTTP module to send a post request. So it can be that you've got, it can be that you just want to send a post request on your node server to, to, another, to another server, whatever. So anyway, let's <coughs> switch over to um, Visual Studio Code. And I've got the same project, but this time um, I've, I've created a client um, file. So let's import the HTTP library this time, once again. And we'll define the port, which was 8080, the host, which is then uh, local host. This is, this is where we're going to be sending the message to. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to create a, a request. And we do this by using the HTTP library once again and just say uh, request. Now, we're going to do this um, using the options um, object. And once we do receive a response from the server, this callback will be called. And this is then an incoming message, all right? So this options is here and is request options. Yep. Okay, so the request options, we need to define the host name. Well, we have the host. We need to define the port. We have that already. We want to obviously define the method, and this needs to be post. Um, in our last one, we, we said that it's got the, the, the content type's got to be application JSON. So we need to be able to define that as well. And we'll do that by saying here, content type is equal to application, application JSON. And um, we'll also um, define the path to be forward slash. That should be enough. Okay, um, now we've got the request, we need now need to send um, our, our data. And because it's content type application JSON, we're going to need to stringify our content. And we're gonna say um, ID equals one, two, three, four, five. Just, just the same that we did, we did with here. Okay, uh, yep. just the same we did with, with here. And uh, once we've sent the request, we want to end it as well. We can, we can also use a callback on, on the right to say that uh, data has been written. There we go. All right, so uh, now that we've got the, uh, the request has been sent, we want to now handle the response, all right? Now we're expecting to receive a, uh, a status code of 201. So, well, first of all, we, we just wanna handle that. So if, if response status code is not equal to 201, um, then we're gonna console log uh, error occurred, all right? Um, in this situation, uh, we we know that that the that the error is going to well, the, the, the error, there's that there's going to be a packet of, of an error in the in the response. All right. So let's handle um, the data coming in first of all, and this is the same. This is done exactly the same way as we did it on the the actual request on the server side. So we'll just say here once again data and we're going to copy this quickly and say end as well and create our data store data plus equals chunk which we'll create in a minute to string utf8 and so on and receive data of data. Okay, so now we know that we've got we've got our data. And um, because we know that it's content types, 
well, okay, we need to check that as well. So if we've got the, so content type once again, so we can say here, content type is there. If content type is not equal to application JSON, uh, then return. You'd handle this in a different way, but I'm just trying to go for it as quick as possible. Then we'll say um, cannot handle the data provided. All right, we're not going to check for what it is. Um, so JSON is equal to now um, pass. And what we can do as well is we can do a try catch uh, also for an error. Uh, content was not valid uh, JSON. All right. So we can come here and we pass the data and then JSON data is JSON and we should be finished. So this all should work. So let's have a quick look. We define our port, our host. Um, we create our options. We've got host name, host, port, port, method is post. Headers, um, we're just going to say the content type application JSON. We're going to say a path. We don't need to. Um, we, then send, we then create a request using the options. We set our callback for when a response callback. And if it's... If the status code is not as equal to 201, then we know it's a bad request or something like that, error has occurred. We're gonna handle um, reading our data only if the content type is equal to application JSON. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's um, send this client um, request off and data has been uh, written, cannot handle um, cannot handle data provided. It's not equal to application JSON. Okay, did we change the... Oh look, I misspelt it. So let's start the server again and come back here. Okay, there we go. So data has been written. JSON data is um, that there, received data. So it's always important to do these um, to do these checks, right? Because I, I could have been sat there for ages um, debugging this, why it was going wrong. That's why you do these, these incremental checks on your data. Anyway, um, that's, that's it. Uh, most importantly uh, is that you've learned how how to, to receive the data from the server, how to send the data from the client, etc. etc. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if it's helped you, then please please help me by pressing the like button. And if you've got any questions, please comment below. And um, if there's a next up and coming video, I don't know what it is yet, then there'll be a link here right now. Otherwise, um, thanks very much for watching. My name's David Thorne, and I really, really appreciate that you watched all the way to the end. Thanks then. Bye.